What's up, everybody? Welcome back, welcome back. This is Tyler, a.k.a. Tovarish Gaming, bringing you another episode of Theorycraft. This is, again, the new iteration where we're just going over funny, cool games, and that's all we're here to do, man. We're here to have a good time. So, uh, once again, in the bottom here, we have Giraffasaur, or Callum, who's my wonderful friend, who sends me all kinds of ridiculously hilarious replays. Um, I have no idea what what happens in this game. I know the title. I gave you guys the title on the last one. I told you that it was called Successful Thor Drop, and we saw a successful Thor Drop. Uh, this one I saw the title, but I'm not going to give it away. I want it to be a little bit more of a surprise. Um, because I think it's going to be hilarious. I haven't seen the replay, um, so you're going to be able to experience that alongside me as well. But uh, but I do get the gist. But I'm going to let that one. I'm going to let that one play itself out. Um, so in the top side here, we do have a Zerg player named Sergeant. Oh wait, no. <laughs> There's no G. Saint Bush. Uh, isn't that like how they spell like Bush Gardens? I don't know. I could be making a fool of myself. I don't really know. But uh, we do have the uh, 11 supply spawning pool going down. All right, all right, all right. So we got uh, an overlord coming out here to scout. We got SCV going up to the north to scout. And uh, while this game gets underway, uh, I just want to say, you know, in the, in the last episode of Theorycraft, I was talking about how it surprised me that the marine rifles were able to turn another marine into ash. And I gotta say... Oh, pause the game by accident. I gotta say, well, let me let me start over. <laughs> In that game, I was like, oh, we're not here to talk about science. But while we wait for this game to get underway, I do want to talk about science because I love science because science is awesome. If you don't love science, you should love science. It's a great, great thing. So if you're interested in science at all, I do have some recommendations. I really, really do. I recommend that you go to YouTube and uh, you search Neil deGrasse Tyson, and you just watch everything that Neil deGrasse Tyson has ever made on YouTube. Because it's awesome. He has a show called Nova Science Now that's really awesome. But what I really like to watch, what I really enjoy, is uh, all like the seminars that he does. Like I watched The Great Debate the other night, and it had Bill Nye and Richard Dawkins and Neil deGrasse Tyson. And if those names don't ring a bell for you... You should go watch that kind of stuff because it's educating and it's mind expanding and it's good. And I wonder if we're going to lose this SCV right here. Oh my god, this is so close. Nope, it looks like he's going to get away. All right. Successful SCV escapage. So we are at the four minute mark here. We do have the double fully saturated gas from Giraffasaur. Again, I'm not telling you guys what he's up to, but it is going to be awesome. We have the factory coming down. Um. All right, and it is not making anything, but we have a starport coming down. We got a marine out. This is looking pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Oh, oh, this drone's going to be able to get in. The wall off is not. Ah, but it doesn't matter because the drone's going to die before it sees anything. Oh, no. What did it see? Okay, so it saw the factory and the starport, but it did not see anything on gas. It didn't see how many, uh, any, any, uh, Blah, 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 blah. How, how saturated the mineral line was. Can't talk, can't talk. This is what happens when I try to do two games in a row. I lose my ability to make words. But that's all right. We're going to get through it. We're going to get through it, I swear to you all. So we do have a widow mine on the way. This is going to be part of some some fun. I'll just I'll leave it at that. This widow mine is going to be part of some fun. Um, we're not making anything off. He does have this uh, barrack selected, but we're not making anything off of it. Oh, Oh, I'm sorry. Did I forget to point out the fact that there's a Ghost Academy right here? Oh, oh, my bad. So, yeah, that's right. We're making a nuke. We have Widow Mines on the field. We have Medivacs, Marines, and pretty soon, there's going to be a ghost. But we have this incredible roach army moving in. Oh my god, eight roaches. Going to be able to do massive amounts of damage right now. Giraffasaur does not have any units. Oh my goodness, these roaches just need to attack. What are they doing? Okay, here we go. We're going to see what happens with this widow mine. What is this widow mine going to be able to pull off? Oh, it does a lot of damage, but it's just 
Just the splash is not gonna be enough. Can these SCVs hold off these roaches? They are gonna get this around, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. The medevac healing, but these roaches are just doing a lot of damage and really not taking any damage. So, oh my god, Giraffasaur loses all of his freaking. Oh, this is so devastating. He has no workers left. And these roaches are just sitting here. And, oh, but we have a ghost on the field. <laughs> the ghost is just going to jump right in the medevac. This is about to get really intense, guys. Oh, I think it's about to get really intense. So we do have this widow mine. Uh, this one is able to shoot, but these uh, roaches need to get in range right here. We'll see if this one triggers it. Oh, yes, it does. Okay, so this one's about halfway done before uh, it's going to be able to attack these roaches again. So uh, it looks like he's just going to lift off his entire base, and these roaches are really low HP. They do have uh, quite a lot of kills. You'll see seven, three, one, three, um, and that marine going to get taken out. But uh, this widow mine is going to trigger, and look, these widow mines are probably going to clean this up. So, oh my goodness, hang on, can I just stop? Can I just stop? Can I go back? Can I just go back like two seconds? Let me just go back like two seconds. Fourteen seconds. Okay, let's see this ghost land. I want to. I want to see this. All right. So. Uh, <laughs> The medevac goes, drops the ghost, and he is just like, I'm gonna nuke you. I'm gonna nuke you, Mr. Zerg. Look at that. Throws down the nuke right there. That's pretty good positioning. It's got the queen. It's got the hatch. It's got a lot of the mineral line. It's got a lot of the gas. And uh, it might even splash these roaches. Nope, these roaches are gonna move out. And the nuke is just gonna land, and he's not gonna move anything out of the way. Oh my god! He takes out the entire mineral line. Everything. Holy shit. Oh my god, the queen dies and the ghost is just gonna move in and just start attacking and he's gonna get picked up by the medevac and the medevac's just gonna be okay because there's roaches, there's no anti-air because the only queen died. That is amazing, this second hatch going up, but it's not going to matter. And it looks like these roaches did get cleaned up by these widow mines. <laughs> so, Giraffes are gonna be able to just drop his base right back where it was. He's got this command center, he's got two SCVs on the field. So hang on, I gotta check out units. There's two drones and two SCVs. Can I just point that out? We're at the 9 minute and 24 mark, and there's two drones, seven drones now, and two SCVs. Okay, that's how messed up these players' economies are right now. So uh, we have the medevac dropping this ghost just to be able to heal him up, and I'm assuming this armory's gonna have a missile coming as soon as he gets uh, 100 minerals. So he's just literally healing this ghost through him 1v2-ing roaches. This is the most ridiculous thing I have ever seen. Seriously, have you guys ever seen this? A ghost having a melee attack, like a melee 1v1 with a roach in an actual game? This is ridiculous. This queen going to be able to force this medevac out of here. Um, but it's not really going to matter. The medevac pretty low on, on energy. But the medevac's going to pick up these two widow mines. We still only have three SCVs, which is pretty devastating. We're going to have a fourth on the way, I assume, right now. Come on, buddy. Come on, Callum. You can do it. I believe in you. Build some more SCVs. You could probably drop your base now. Um, still not making a nuke. And, oh, looks like we're going to just throw these Widow Mines down. We do have an Observer, though. Or an Overseer, excuse me. <clears throat> going to be able to see these, so... Oh, and the Zerg just leaves! He just leaves! Oh my god, you have to be kidding me! Oh, what a what a terrible... No, he could have won! Oh, he could have won! He had two bases! He had a couple drones at this base. He had a half-saturated mineral line at this base. He had a couple drones in gas. He had a roach warren. Oh, he had larva. He had a queen. Well, he had a queen before these uh these widow mines did some damage, <clears throat> but he had a ghost too. And oh, <laughs> what am I talking about? Okay. Anyway, my point is the Zerg player was way ahead. He had a much bigger economy. He had way more overlords. He had way more room to build units. Um, and Giravasaur didn't really have anything left. He had a couple SCVs, one base. Uh, his base was still floating. He didn't have any real army units. He couldn't build uh, a, a nuke until another five minerals, and I would assume that he'd probably use that on SCVs. Because um, he doesn't even have the orbital command to get down down mules. So this is pretty ridiculous that he just won. He's pretty lucky there. But that was absolutely hilarious. I've never seen a ghost just like 1v1 uh, or 1v2 some, some couple of roaches with a medevac. That was like 
the most ridiculous tiny little battle that I've ever seen in StarCraft 2. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. We have a ton more games going to be coming along the way. Callum's a great guy. He's been sending me all these awesome replays. He still has that really great Zerg game that I want to show you guys. But I'm going to let you go for right now, so I'll see you all next time.